Welcome back to Ohio Record Tech. It's been a while. Actually, it's been about nine months. Um, between work and COVID and family life, uh, we've been a little busy, but we do have a lot of content kind of stored up. So, guess what? There's Luke. And that one, well, this little addition to the family, this is Hannah. Can you say hi, Hannah? So yeah, we, we got a new dog um, and we got a little snow. So this is going to be a about a one year update on our Ego S&T 2114 snowblower. Uh, we've had a lot of questions and uh, here's that. Pretty slick unit, still pretty happy. And you can tell if you can look at some of the dust on there. Um, not been used in about nine or ten months. So. We're gonna see if it starts. I think 10 months. 10? Mm -hmm. He thinks 10 months. I, think I tend 100 to. 100 months. Definitely not 100 months. But so let's throw some batteries in this thing and uh, see if it works. And welcome back to the channel. Where you been? All right. We had questions. And you are on a tripod. And I apologize, this video is, this is gonna be a fairly quick video. Not a lot of stuff going on here. We covered most, covered most everything in the last one but we have one battery in there and people ask will it run on one battery and i don't know so let's find out let's aim that away from mr luke good all right hang here i'm gonna guess that we're in the frame so one battery and <laughs> Yes, it'll run on one battery. Okay, let's get the other one in there. And just a note, if you can see this. Okay, fully charged. All right, both should be fully charged. Let's drop our other battery in. Good. One other one other question we keep getting is, uh, or a comment, I should say, I keep getting is this. Uh, this is not self-propelled, and it does not have the little runners on it to keep it from getting caught in sidewalk cracks. My driveway is fairly new, or even a cracked driveway. Um, my driveway is fairly new, and we have formed in joints, and uh, I don't notice as much. And the unit's so light that if it hits something, I just kind of bump the handle, and, and it goes right over it. Uh, but that is something that I have had a comment or two on. In my opinion, the two-stage self-propelled has those. These are metal. I would tend to think that maybe a semi-mechanically inclined person could even install something uh, on that that was maybe meant for the two-stage blower or even another model altogether. Or you could probably get some... Uh, UHMW, Delrin, or something like that, and maybe even make your own. Pop a couple holes and uh, set those in there, and uh, you could probably even adjust the height. It's gonna leave a little more snow on the ground, but it's also gonna just keep that little chute on the bottom. Down here, this is the wear item. So this like shovels the snow up in there, and yeah, I probably shouldn't stick my fingers in there, but uh, nobody's back there. But. I'm gonna guess that uh, that would even make that last a little longer. So, hey, we're gonna upright this thing and run it for a second, see see if it still works. Here we go. You think it still works? Yes. I think it still works. So there you have it. Huh? <laughs> He's glad it works. Sorry about that. So 
obviously still works no problem um no gas here's the cracks that we have in our driveway and it kind of glides right over those so uh i gotta get this thing done we got a lot to do here and uh happy new year to everybody uh one of the things i can say is you know i go back to the whole the whole thing one of the things i could say is um this snow honestly came in a little unexpected and uh heck we just uh pulled that right out of the shed and went at it so no gas no oil i charged the batteries this morning while i was having coffee just to be sure they were up but uh charge cycles another one that uh, people have hit us up on i found a european um site for ego and they were talking something about 10,000 charges so that's quite a bit longevity of batteries i think is important and uh, i definitely think that they've got that thought out pretty well so uh but yeah we only have i don't know two two and a half inches of snow here so we're gonna we'll do a little bit more here soon we've got uh, a couple things in the queue got to do a little editing and miss hannah over there she's going to be involved in a lot more what's happening what are you doing are you destroying another ball yeah you gotta get it sits <laughs> sits Go ahead. all right well anyway thanks for uh stopping by ohio record tech today for this short uh long-term update no issues and looking pretty good and uh stay tuned because we've got a lot of questions that came in about this little unit right here that is our dewalt propane heater and today if i get time we'll go ahead and run that too it's that 32.7 in my garage it is um air temperature outside is about 27 so we're gonna let the garage get nice and cool maybe we'll pull the car out of there and uh we'll go ahead and run a video on that one too because that honestly has been a lifesaver anyway thanks for stopping by and we will catch you guys on the next one Bye. <laughs> have a good day